And have you had a chance to hang out with Jimmy at all? And is he in any of your classes? Um, he's in um, two of my classes. So um, I don't sit by him. I don't want to get distracted. So, um, you know, I kind of keep my distance. Mike, here in the back. Did your teammates, did they leave you alone with the decision? Did they try to argue to get you to come back? Um, well, one in particular, um, Robert Blanton. He um, probably called me every single day, texted me, um, because he wanted me to come back, you know, to make him better. And, um, you know, that's what I liked. And, you know, that's what I, you know, really took in consideration, you know, with my teammates and the guys that I came in with. And I felt like, you know, I, I came in with them and I want to leave with the, out with them. Over here. Who else did you kind of consult on this decision, whether it be Coach Weiss, Coach Ionello, you know, other guys that you've, you've come in contact during your career? Um, you know, I talked to Coach Weiss, um, Coach Ionello, Ionello um, my former coach in high school, two of them, and uh, my mom. And my mom's big on um, academics and big on me getting my uh, degree. So, you know, she doesn't really care about the football part. Just as long as I don't get hurt, that's all she cares about. Um, but my coaches from high school, you know, I really leaned on them a lot because, you know, they know me the most. And, um, you know, it was, you know, they didn't really know what to say, but, you know, they kind of basically say, you know, you got to go with your gut and uh, what you feel, you know, is the best for you. And um, that's just basically what it was. I think after, you know, the USC game, Miami game, the presumption around a lot of people in here was that, you know, the feedback's going to come back, it's going to be first round, it's going to be second round, and, and that's going to be it. Were you surprised when that wasn't the feedback that you got? Um, the feedback that I got just wasn't, you know, something that I thought was the best for me. And I know, you know, coming back, you know, you know I can raise that up to, you know, higher than what I wanted. And, um, you know, I think with this year coming up, you know, I'll, I'll work hard. You know, do whatever it takes to make sure that I do get that stock up there and, you know, get to the most, the highest I can get. Were you surprised when the feedback came back the way it was? Um, yeah, a little bit. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's what they say. And, um, you know, you got to go with it. And I guess what, it, within that feedback, what do you take away from that about, like, okay, I need to get better at A, B, and C to improve my stock and prove that I'm the best receiver out there? Um, you know, you just... Going back, you know, when I could have left, you know, I, I could have went to the NFL, but I chose to stay back for school. And, um, you know, doing that's a big decision, and you got to change a lot of things around. And I feel like what I did last year, you know, you got to change a lot of things around because, you know, even though there was big-time wide receivers, you know, going in this draft this year, you know, there's going to be the same thing next year. And I just got to, you know, keep working hard and, you know, change up some things. What are some of the specific things you feel like you need to change up? Um, you know, just, I mean, working harder in the weight room, um, getting faster at the most part. I don't think I really need to get the strength-wise, but just being more explosive. 